All right, everybody, welcome back to Prey. Uh, so in the first one, uh, just a quick recap, we kind of had a regular first day of work. We woke up, um, took a helicopter, and did some tests. Uh, it was all fairly standard. We read a lot of books. Uh, you know, it was great. But all of a sudden, on the final test, we were just about to do, like, a Rorschach test, and the coffee mug that the scientist, Dr. Bellamy, was holding, like, attacked him. It turned into this weird slime goo monster. So, uh, yeah, now we have this super ominous music that, that you were just hearing there that just cut out. Well, if I run over here to my computer, check my emails again, it just says Danger Leave Now by this January. So, like, something something's up. We threw our suit on. Uh, and we're ready to head out the door, so. Oh! My gosh, I jumped. Not from the visuals. The visuals were not scary. It was just, oh my god, the... Oh. The fish is okay. I'm on edge, guys. V for flashlight? Well, that's actually a really nice flashlight. Holy cow. Now, does the flashlight wear out? Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. The alien thing? If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay, we're not safe. Yeah, the, the flashlight's draining. Oh, I'm hitting your corpse. I'm so sorry. Whoa, look at her face! Oh gosh. Whatever attacked that scientist is probably... Yeah, because I mean, that's the tower right there. So, are they all over the city? I didn't actually expect that to break. Um, I was just kind of hitting all the stuff with my wrench but all right can I can I get through okay yeah I can um simulation lab good you're in the simulation lab now get to the exit I'll keep in contact what does that mean replacement props for storage area okay some sparkling wine Hey, that's the sparkling wine I've been drinking. No, we're not. Are we? Are we matri Are we getting matrixed right now? Oh my god! Look at all the sparkling wine. Yeah, I'll take it all. I feel like we're gonna need it. We got nightstands. We got coffee tables. Hear that? Like little scurrying. Oh my gosh! Hit it! Beat it up! Where'd it go? Oh! It was just here. Oh, I'm so startled right now. We're just gonna close these doors, hey? Yeah, it, it's out there. It's back in my apartment. But yeah, we're not safe, guys. January's correct. The aliens are in our apartment. How they got on Earth, I, I have no idea. Why are, why are we in a simulation? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Warning, do not stand open while doors... Simulations in, in progress. Okay. Um, emergency phone help. I'm having an emergency. Uh, wrench. The Hephaestus Hefe twist and loop handle wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in the Transstar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. I love it. Okay, we can charge our attack. That's nice. And they do drain stamina. Hmm. 
Manufacturing order number 65489, delivered to Marco Simmons from the fabrication department. That's the SKU. Making this entire SKU, marking this entire SKU is defective. Investigate with fabrication. Okay, we have a note. Password. Oh, nice. That's not good safe password protections. Anyway, reminder about company. Password policy. This is a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Okay, so the entire section is 2.7, the password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or any other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. It was right here. That's a violation of 273. 274, if you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Okay, this one's from Alex to the Neuromod Division. All. A note about this morning. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex Yu. Bad install. From Alex Yu to Marco Simmons. Simmons, the test result today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority, Alex. So... Quit following me. Are we still in a test? What is going on here? The safe code is... One, zero... Something, one? That be like a, a two maybe? Yeah, one zero something one. We could do one zero maybe six one. No. One zero five one. Okay. We'll get this. There's only so many combinations. Maybe it was an eight. Okay, we are wrong about the ones and the zeros. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just get out of here. Yeah, we can't carry any of that stuff. It says we need leverage one. I don't know what that is, but we don't have it. Ooh, they're monitoring me. 7.30, sleeping. 7.31, wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32, checks transcribe. 734 to 755 on computer, various tasks. 804 takes a shower, puts on uniform. We did all of those things, guys. Wait. Wait. What? Oh, gosh. The thing's in here. Typhon organ and a mimic tumor, but we don't have necropsy or necro ne necropsy. Yeah, necropsy. Wait, wait a second. Are you are you joking? No wonder those birds looked fake. It's all fake. 
I gotta smash all the windows. I have to. I, I got it. No wonder the door was jammed. What the heck is going on here? Are we even on Earth? Like, I'm so confused. It's all a simulation. It's all a lie. Okay, so we came from that way. Also back into our apartment. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've been here. This is the simulation labs again. I'm getting turned around. That doesn't sound like me at all. Oh, we got an elevator. Okay. Is it just it just doesn't work. Oh, no, it does work. Are we just uh now we're on we're on the roof now, guys. It it's not even a real elevator. What the heck? It's just all that like special glass all around here. The city wasn't even real. Oh my gosh. Now we're in Transtar. Stuff is just Stuff is just breaking. All fake. Okay, we got a med kit. Nice. Quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers assigned. Um, assign them to a skill. Press T to view more. Okay, apparently I wasn't fast enough there. Get to the main lobby. It didn't actually tell me how to open up my quick select menu. Oh, okay, here it was. So it looks like C is to eat stuff. Uh, Z and Q have stuff that's bind. One, uh, F is a med kit? Interesting. Can we change that? It just says F lean right. I don't. Maybe that's just, maybe it's just in the menu. That's how we use it. I okay. That that that's fine. We can leave that. Okay, we got an email and utilities. We got the blue screen of death. There we go. I fixed it. A note about this morning. Yeah, Doctor Bellamy. See, I don't think Doctor Bellamy is doing okay. I mean, look at the state of this place. More has happened. Utilities, scene selection, rooftop entrance. Whoa. That is wild. Test management. Okay. Do we go back to the test rooms? See what those look like? Oh gosh! What's going on? Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Oh. Be careful what you pick up. Oh my gosh, that music! <laughs> what are we in store for, guys? And I turned on survival mode. I'm kind of regretting it with how terrifying this is. Oh, okay. I need to not be a giant baby. There is a mimic in here. This looks out of place. It's not. We got a Psy Hypo. Ah. 
And they, and they can just blend in with everything, right? I'm just gonna be smacking the environment. Okay. These boxes are cleared. What looks out of place? Or like, additional? I think that's the key. Morgan's behavior. Okay, I'm gonna try to read this. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises for Morgan, nor do we, granted. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings, and within the test itself. Okay, so this has been going on for a while. Like, we've been just getting tested. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll take the paper. So far, everything's fine. Alex? Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. We heard that, um... When we were knocked out by that green gas. Whoa. Okay, well, yeah, we were down there. Okay. That's right, we're in the same building. God, this is so surreal. <sighs> Gotta whack every object. There's our apartment again. Wild. <gasps> oh! just multiplied into like four of them no one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment I'm going to help you stay alive just a little further can I leave I don't want to be here <laughs> I want an adult oh where did they go Surely they can't be items, right? They're just gonna become like things. Okay, I don't I don't think I don't think it's in there. There's definitely mimics in here though. Operation Smack Everything is commencing. Minimum Entangled Stage, Shannon, Ant Entropy, Make, Computer, Remove, Manipulation, DOO, Button. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, next week's test. Joven, we need a room update to the, uh, updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Area of effect, copycat, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. And then urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of research department. Get it to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if somebody else finds that data. 
Marco Simmons. And that updated our optional here. Search Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center. Oh, cool. So we can just kind of mark both of those as active. This shows everybody who was in. Yeah, so Bellamy's dead. He was attacked. Uh, play your way. Experiment with different approaches to get past the door. Searching for the key card. Finding an alternate path. Okay. Okay, I can harvest those. We still got mimics in here, remember, guys. There's one too many stools. Who has five stools in a room? Monsters. I think I see the one. No. Yep, called it. I called it. Oh, this is my last time. Oh, no, this wasn't. This is 2.23. Is it even March? Is it even March 15th? Reorder test. Lucian observation. C. Bellamy. Flammability test canceled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before each test. Key card to the simulation lab. That music makes me feel like I did something good. No good boy music. Personality drift results. Okay. Here are the test results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials, compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test is pass is yeah is pasted below for reference. Oh, you gotta like actually like click to go down. Okay, it's ju it's just our answers. Okay, daily test. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say, nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely, Evelyn. And that was, uh, to Bellamy. And then we have Matthias Cole to Bellamy. Have my people have been coming to you? So. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. I know I can't divulge names. But there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psychotronic staff. Was that? Anyway. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated as incidents. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting, Matthias Cole. Okay, and that's a re, so still, um, Bellamy, Bellamy's people have been coming to Matthias, so. Wow, we just, like, smashed that paper, holy cow. Okay, one, two, three, four. God, I'm gonna just have to, I'm gonna develop OCD from playing this game. Uh, okay, Mimics. Looking for Mimics. Yeah, there's two chairs. Got him. Oh. I, uh, what is this? What is this wrench? It's like in a different room. Okay, simulation questions. Uh, I s this is Marco to Alice. I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now 
to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play, uh, play piano like Gustav Lettner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment just before you installed it. They, want, they wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back, hence the apartment sim. Yous are dedicated to their science is all I can say. He says yous, plural, like are we supposed to be in on this? Human eye. And then he's locked. We can't hack. Oh yeah, we got the key card. What is that thing? Uh That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Is it gonna come get me? It's in the thing. Oh my gosh, guys. I am I am so on edge right now. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea it might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they were the first to think of it. Okay, there's a mimic around here somewhere. Repair. Many objects on Telus 1 can be repaired if you have a repair skill and enough spare parts. To repair an object, hold down G. Okay, so we either don't have the skill or the parts. Oh, here's the mimic. Frozen. Nice. Ooh, what's this? The glue cannon. Is it? Okay, so it shoots... Oh, here we go. The Transtar Glue Cannon, or the Jellifoam Lattice Organism Obstructor, disables and or in, uh, immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay, we can press and hold, or we can just shoot a singular like we did there. Okay, uh, oh my gosh. Oh! Um... Why are there so many? Out of stamina. It's gonna kill me. Okay, we get we're like majorly punished for running Order. out of stamina. There. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. So are we, are we out of glue, right? Yeah, we're out of glue. Okay, so we could just go one, two. Okay, 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 okay. We really didn't get that much glue. 
And we really don't have that much stamina. Uh, how do we get into security here? Oh, there's like a security guard. Oh, there's more glue here. Oh my gosh. And he's got a bunch on him. I assume it's just R to reload. I'm going to shoot. Oh my god, look at him. <gasps> I didn't even see that. So we can use this as a climbable platform, right? So if we do this and then maybe shoot one there. Maybe shoot two there. Suit repair kit and more glue canisters. Nice. I didn't even see that at first. Clever. Yeah, we don't have like a zoom, so if I right click it doesn't do anything. It is R to reload. Yeah, and I don't really see anything that would help us figure out how to get into the security booth. Oh! There's more. I hear him. God, I don't trust anything. Okay, let's search this conference room first. Can't close the door behind us. We can become coffee cups, we know that. Did that do anything for us? Oh, we're taking a long drink. Okay, it gives us one health, but it takes forever. Oh, look at this. Agave plant clippings? Yes, yes please. Do I know what they do? No. But do I want them? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, I broke it. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I hear... I hear uh, the mimic. Is it the book? <sighs> Note. Projector colors are still wrong. Yeah. Ooh, hold L to listen? Yeah. Robert? Alice! Thank God! No one else is- Where are you? Hiding! I'm in the conference room! I, I can't- Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out! There's- what the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. And that's poor Robert right there. Not someone, something. There's more mimics around him. I know it. Just listen for the clicking. Okay, there's the Neuromod. We'll come back for that. Okay. There's more. Oh, there it's that thing on the ground. Look at There's one that's up there that looks way more normal. Watch. Yep. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm still getting, like, an adrenaline rush every single time those guys break their mimic nature. Oh. Oh, just gotta shudder a little bit. And flush a toilet. That usually makes me feel better. Hey, we got tea.
Okay, and we can't carry any of that stuff yet. Okay, let's grab this narrow mod. Okay, Neuro Mods. The Neuro Mod is a revolutionary Transtar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Nice. So this is our level ups. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuro Mod selection. Okay, I just want to test something out here. So if I if I hit O, I can also just go to Neuro Mods. So I don't. Okay, either N or, N or O. Okay, so we got three choices here. We got Scientist. Uh, I just want to look at some of these. So Scientist uses knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. So we have the options of Physician 1, which will increase the effectiveness of med kits to 150%. I haven't had to use a med kit yet, so I don't know what they're like. We can also do Hacking 1, which we've seen Hacking 1 already, so this would become immediately useful. Then it looks like we have Hacking 2, 3, and 4. Uh, physician to increase med kits again. Doubles both the duration of well-fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. That could be useful. Okay, Necropsy we've seen as well, but we need 4 Neuromods for it. And that just gives us more organs that can be recycled for ex exotic materials, which are used in the fabrication of neuromods. So bank four of them, get necropsy, make more neuromods. I don't know. Wow, engineer, this is this is a big field. We got leverage one. Okay, lift and throw heavy objects. This would also become immediately useful. Uh, repair would also become useful to repair damaged weapons as well. Okay. We might want to do this so our weapons don't... Well, we don't really have any weapons that could get damaged right now, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, leverage 2, 3, so even heavier objects. Gunsmith allows the use of weapons upgrade kits to upgrade security weapons beyond mod level 1. And then fully upgrade, okay. Repair 2, repair 3, makes sense. Suit mod 1. Upgrade your Transtar uniform with extra inventory space. And two additional chipsets. Also two additional chipsets. Also two, okay. Dismantle, break down equipment from your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. Increase recycling yield. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Allows the use of weapon upgrade kits to upgrade non-standard tech weapons. So like the glue gun, right? That makes sense? Yeah, okay. Reduce the stamina cost of wrench attacks. Okay, that seems like it could be important. Maybe that won't help out super much in the long term. Maybe it will. Anyway, security. Uh, conditioning. Increase your health to 115, your stamina to 105. So we would see a 15 point increase to health, a 5 to stamina, I believe. Run, sneak, and climb, and sprint 5% faster. This really increases our stamina here. This really increases our stamina. Health. Natural lifespan increased by 25 years. 50 years, 75 years, wow. Okay, firearm damage, critical hit chance. Okay. Combat focus, blows time around you, and then just costs less and less stamina. Combat focus 3 seems really good because it'll cost no stamina, so if we, we would need 15 neuro mods to get there. Stealth. Enemies take longer to detect you when you're sneaking. You can walk and run without making noise. You sprint without making noise. That'll be good to get into, I bet. Ooh, and then sneak attacks. I love me some stealth. Um, oh my gosh. I think we're gonna go into... 
hacking. I think hacking is going to be our first one. Oh my gosh, are those needles? Oh! Oh my god! Well, I'm glad it wasn't like super vulgar the way that it showed it. Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. I don't believe we've gotten all of the... All of the mimics yet. Okay, so we didn't get leverage, so we can't really go back to the bathrooms. But we can come back to the security room and try this hacking opportunity. Hacking. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into the robotic systems such as turrets and operators. Nice. To hack, use WSAD to quickly navigate the bit stream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. Oh, shoot, and we're like timed. Um. What? Oh, this is a weird game. Okay, we get a little shock. Okay, let's try that again now that I know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't push the button. That's fine. That's, well, last time. Last time. Come on. Let's let's do this. Let's MLG Major League Gaming. Let's go. Oh, come on. E. Oh, gosh, it changes keys. That's tricky. I've never played a hacking mini game quite like that. Weapon upgrade kit. Nice. Uh, yeah, what? Tell me more. Um. Select the weapon and press R. In our inventory. Okay, um. Do we have an upgrade? Do I really need to upgrade that? Okay, I can't upgrade that. I think we're just gonna hang on to the upgrade kit right now. Okay, I can so I can see our inventory is kind of like a Resident Evil styled inventory. No, we need hacking two for the security station. Can we just enter the password? No, we don't have the password. Security stations track all the employees. So we gotta come back here. Once we have a password. Favorites wheel. The favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually psi powers. Ooh. Kinda like uh, maybe some XCOM 2 there. Psionics. Press mouse wheel to open the favorites wheel and select a weapon or item using mouse wheel. Press mouse 1 to equip a weapon. You can also consume medkits, psi hypos, uh, getting some Bioshock vibes from there, uh, from the fa uh, favorites wheel. Nice. This is like combining all of my favorite games right now. Uh, and I'm loving it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm noticing our recording time is getting a little bit on the long side here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I, I really want to keep playing. I do. Um, I'm super sucked into this game. Uh, it's been fun, uh, to say the very least. Uh, well, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm Slostronaut. Thank you guys so much for uh, for tuning in. Uh, to this episode. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.